<laughs> Good evening, everyone. It's Aquatic Feline. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. I'm your host, Aquatic Feline, as I already said, but it just felt like repeating. Here we have the world's largest pineapple. It was made this big to pleasure even the largest women. But Yoshi just thinks of that, and it just makes him happy. Hungry, so yeah. He wants to eat birds too, especially that blue one. Om nom nom. Sorry, I saw an opportunity and I had to take it. Now let's go inside here to our final level. Let's go inside here to our final level. Let's go inside here for to our final level. Serena Beach! Indeed we are. You are correct, sir. Ha ha ha. The Manta Storm. Possibly my favorite shine of this level, if not of the game. I do not know why, but I absolutely love this shine! Ha ha ha! I don't know why I'm talking like a game show host, or at least that's what I'm attempting to do. I don't think it's coming out that well at all, but whatever's, whatevs, yo. Anyway, this shine you need to talk to Mr. Hotel Manager guy. Oh, please tell me my nightmare is over! You can save me! I don't know why, but you just look very capable to me! Listen, it all started around you! This giant man shaped thing showed up! It was paper thin, floating silhouette! It came uncovered the hotel grounds of the electric group! And then, oh no, the horror of my beautiful hotel! My poor building! It's sank in the middle of the hopper! Who's why, why, why? I don't know! Just stop cleaning up! I'm <gasps> okay, I do not have very good lung capacity, apparently. Or he just never shuts up. Anyway, the mantis, mantis, not mantis, manta storm, man, the giant manta ray, Steve Irwin's nightmare, destroyed the hotel, and we have to take, we have to get back by destroying it, and sorry that Steve Irwin joke was incredibly tasteless, but whatever. I'm an incredibly tasteless guy. Do not touch it. If it, if you touch it, you'll become pregnant. Ah! Because it leaves its goop everywhere, okay? It's goop's electrifying, too. So yeah, if you need coins, you can actually destroy or er, spray its goop, and yeah, it'll take good care of it. The more you hit it, the more it'll split, and it'll become smaller and smaller and teenier and tinier and weenier. Teeny tiny weenies. For whatever reason, it can float in the water, even though water is what's hurting it. I do not know why. It doesn't actually start off terribly aggressive, but when you get them all down to its smallest point, they'll start chasing you, so that's what you should try to do. Always aim for the big ones first. Because Mario likes big mana rays. So don't worry about finding the small ones, because they'll come to you after you. Holy crap, I'm taking a lot of damage. But no, I love the shine, because it's just an awesome boss fight, in my opinion. Probably the best boss fight in this game, including the last one. And it's quite difficult, too. I mean, if you need to hide, you can hide underneath, like, the shade of that thing. That, whatever it is. Not a gazebo. Is it a gazebo? Kinda is a gazebo. Remember, you must not. You must face the gazebo alone, nobody can help you. No, that was a munchkin joke from the card game Munchkin. You have to fight the gazebo. And it's like, it's gazebo with eyes and whatever, which is actually a reference to Knights of the Round Table. Where it's about a D&D group, it's a comic about a people, a D&D group or whatever, and they're playing, and the dungeon master is like, you, you find a gazebo. Well, none of the other people playing the D&D group knows what a, D a gazebo is, so they assume it's some kind of monster. And they all want to attack the gazebo. So that's where the whole gazebo thing comes from. That's like really old references though. That's like when I was in high school and stuff. I'm like 68 now, so yeah. I'm an old man, just so you know. I still love LP though as an old man. I'm the oldest LP known to man. I remember back when I was younger and Abraham Lincoln was the president. I voted against him. But he got it voted in anyway, and then he freed slaves, which was kinda cool because I was in the north and I was against slavery from the beginning. <laughs> oh no! I gotta go heal now because I'm an old man, which makes me bad at this game because old people are bad at video games. It's a known fact. It's because their reflexes and timing are down and stuff. Betty White is my greatest crush ever. I have a huge crush on her, even though she's 30 years older than me. I still fap to her a daily. Anyway, let's finish cleaning up this mana shine. Why are your eyes closed, Mario? Open your eyes! You can't defeat a giant mana ray with your eyes closed. That's what's happened to Steve Irwin. Okay, I need to stop with the Steve Irwin joke. That's tasteless. You should never joke about death, okay? Unless it's funny. Anyway, here's the hotel. 
Hotel Del Fino, everybody's favorite place, full of fun and laughter and joy. Everybody loves Hotel Del Fino. Come on down to Hotel Del Fino. Yeah. Do 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 blip 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 boop bop yahoo! So that's the first shine of Serena Beach. I'm not gonna get too many shines of Serena Beach. In fact, that, that might be the only shine I get in Serena Beach. Excuse me, my chair just farted. Cause um I can't stand the next one. Actually no, no I can't stand the next one. If the next one is what I think it is. I can stand it. I can stand it quite well. I can stand it quite well, Ken. This Mac Australian accent. I'm actually was just out to lunch at Red Robin, and uh, it was delicious. You know at Red Robin they serve extra fries. Um, I had two, two things of extra fries, total of three servings of fries. And that's what I had for lunch, dinner, 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 dinner. Dinner always reminds me of Lenny, which reminds me of *Of Mice and Men*, which was an incredibly weird book. I don't know why it's such a huge classic though. But <laughs> actually, I, me and my friend read *Of Mice and Men* in really weird voices. Anyway, if you come over here, there's a blue coin. I don't know why I'm suddenly obsessed with blue coins, considering I've not been getting them at all this entire game, as you can tell by the fact that I only have 36. Hey, I'm it's Mario. We're right? like, yeah, Mario. Listen, I have enough feeling how you can help me out again. See this hotel boat's full. It's full of ghosts. Oh, crikey. So, well, if you could, you maybe look inside, please. I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be honest. I'm a miracle worker now. What now, Jesus? Okay. I love doing that right at the beginning. But I missed... I missed one of them. Oh, well. But yeah, just jump and do the shotgun maneuver and you can spray all those ghosts in the platforms right away because that's how you get up there. Don't be be afraid to be or be very liberal with your water. <laughs> I know I've been saying that a lot. I'm not entirely sure that's an actual saying, be liberal with it, but everyone says be conservative when you're trying to conserve things. So conser liberal is the opposite of conservative, as in liberal means Democrat and conservative means Republican. So therefore if you're liberal with something you're using lots of it, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. What's with the intro to the secret level? Has there been one for every secret level and I've just been skipping them this entire time? It's quite- ah! That was the best death ever. That just shows how terrible my death perception is as I walk right into a giant nose. Oh, I like my giant noses. I believe I described this yet last time. Anyway, the triple jump will get you up here. This is a pretty fun um, secret level, actually. Because you first meet some flying stews. It's like the first time they're in the game that I know of. I can't think of any other any other time when flying stews are in the game. What was that? What the crap? What the quap? Quap. Not crap. Quap. C W A P. Okay. I'm still good on lives for now. For now. I'm sure there's some lives in like that watermelon or something. I'm afraid to butt drop because I'm afraid I'll go right through. Because it was locked. Oh, there's a life right there. Cool. That makes it easy. And you can go right. You can go up right here. But you have to fight. No, 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 no! Ah. Why am I having such problems with these stews? I've never seen an LP or have problems with the stews. And first of all, stews are lame. They should have just made them Goombas because that's what they are. I don't know why they gotta. <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> Holy cr crap. I'd say. I guess it's because I'm an old man of 68 years old, and that's why I can't make simple jumps. Okay, I just need to relax. Take, let's take a deep breath. Deep breath. In. Out. In. Out. Okay, that was probably a really bad sound in my microphone, so I'm sorry about that. Now I can't breathe because my asthma. I don't know if I have asthma or not. Supposedly I do. I don't know. So yeah, it's really easy to jump across. You just have to time it right, and you it looks like you're not gonna make it, but you always do. So I don't know. Now here you have to break things with your head, which is what Mario is skilled at apparently. And not just the one on his shoulders. He'll take his pants down and thrust and break all kinds of things, like Peach. Anyway, it's rain and sand. Hallelujah, it's rain and sand. And I fell because I forgot to jump. Hallelujah, I forgot to jump. Hallelujah, I can't believe that I'm dying and I'm not cutting this out because I don't know why. 
Because I like pizza pie. I actually don't. I'm not a big fan of pizza. I'm Italian. What does that say about me? What does that mean? Don't die! Don't die or it's game over. Holy crap. I'm saving real fast. I'm going to start cutting out. This is the last death that you'll see. Well, it's obviously going to be the last death that you'll see because, well, I'm going to get it. Just go. I'm calling it now. I'm going to be like, Omora. Who's one of <laughs> You don't know who that is, but he's a... He's a person. I don't need no stinking stews! Yes, I do. Why did I even try that? Okay, time to cut out deaths, and I'll beat you back at, back at the sand place. Okay, guys, we're back, and we're running along the sand, and here it goes. Here comes Mario in the first lane, going fast, and running on the no legs, no legs, no legs in the second lane, no legs, no legs in first, no legs in first, now no legs, and Mario's catching back up, no legs coming cool. Okay, let's stop pretending to be a racer or whatever. Racer D! <laughs> racer D is, um, a reference to Dexter's Laboratory with, um,. This, where they were ref where they were parodying Speed Racer, but I died, so it's okay. I'll meet you back at the spinny thing. Why didn't you jump? Okay, I finally made it back to the spinny thing. It looks like it's a miracle. You don't want to know how many times I've died. I'm not gonna die this time though. Take it nice and easy. Got to jump earlier than you think you need to. At least I need to think I jump earlier than I think I need to. Like right now. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing, Mario? Hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your Mario! No way, no way, I think you need Luigi! <sighs> Curse you, Avril, Avril Levine! Curse you, Shia LaBeouf! You know what? I'm just gonna meet you when I grab the star. <laughs> By the power invested in me! Or vested in me, I now pronounce you Mario and Star! You may now kiss the shine. For some reason, I always, I always thought it would be power invested in me, like someone's investing their power in you. That'd be interesting if you could, like, invest your power into stocks, like if you're a psychic or whatever, you could put your telepathy or, or whatever into stocks and stuff. That'd be cool. Yo, anyway, we're done there. I probably should go get the pachinko machine, which I promised I'd have last time, but I tried to get in there a bunch before I even started recording, and I couldn't. So let's do nice, easy stuff. Because I'm pretty grumpy, because that took me like, um, well, let me check my recording real fast. I'm up to 20, 21 minutes. Compare that to what you're currently at, see how much I had to edit out of all the failing I did in that last secret level. Yeah, it made me so happy. Happy, like killing puppies in the basement with a knife. By that I mean how un- that was like sarcasm with how unhappy I'd be having seen someone kill puppies in a basement with a knife. I'm not- I do not condone animal violence. Child violence is okay, but animal violence, no. Anyway, let's get across here. And we'll go play the box butt game. The butt box game. There's this guy here. Break all of the crates within 30 seconds to win a prize. Would you want to try? Okay. Nice, easy stuff. Just gotta break the. You just gotta butt drop the crates. You can even miss a bunch. No big deal. You got plenty of time. Especially if you can get two at once. Okay. Well, I still got over 15 seconds and I screwed up quite a bit. So, yeah, it's easy stuff. Yo, I had 11 seconds left. That was great. You were the best. Get right on you. Get on, knee get on your knees now. I'm not saying he should perform oral sex on me. I'm just saying he should perform oral sex on Mario. On his nose, okay? Because Mario's short, so you'd have to get on the knees to suck his nose. If you think about it. Hey, hey, you, you. I don't like you, Mario. No way, no way. I think you need a new aging. Hey, hey, you, you, I wanna be your mom. I can't stand that song. I seriously hate it. But I used to sing it to my friend in high school all the time. And I text it to him sometimes. We're both guys, but, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, well, the only wrong part is neither of us are gay. I mean, if we were both gay, guys, it makes sense, except the fact I'd be saying, hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your girlfriend, even though he doesn't like girlfriends at all, because he'd be gay. There's nothing wrong with being gay, oh my god. I don't know, you just have to alter the song to Hey Hey I, You You I Don't Like Your Boyfriend. A lot like um, what 
Kurt's going through in Glee right now. If you think about it that way. I just spoiled the last night's episode, even though it was probably recorded a while ago. I don't even know what day it is. Friday! 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 Gotta get down, it's Friday! Everybody's looking forward to the weekend! Party and party and yeah! Party and party and yeah! Fun, 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 fun! Looking forward to the weekend! <laughs> I cannot do that voice at all, but you know, whatever. I think I think there's two box butt mini games, so. Two shines, two easy shines, drop layer, and that's an equals four. So I think I might actually end the episode here. I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Aquatic Feline, and I love you guys. Why are there pineapples in the fountain, butters? Why is there rice a in my coffee, butters? I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching again. Bye.